Welcome back to the Maths Guy everybody. Today we're looking at finding the missing value in an equivalent ratio. And to do that we're going to follow these three steps. First we're going to find the connection, which means find the connection between the two sets of ratios. Then we're going to use multiplication or division to help us. And then step three, what we do to one of the numbers we must then do to the other. So let's see what that means. So let's have a look at question one and we are trying to find the value of this x between these two equivalent ratios. And step one says to find the connection. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if these are equivalent, then the two sets of numbers that we have will have some sort of connection. And obviously with a ratio, the order that the numbers are written is really important. So this 10 is paired with this 30. So what we're looking for is the connection between it. And to do that, we're gonna look at step two, the multiplication or division. So I can see that to get from 10 to 30, I would need to multiply by three, or the opposite way around. If I wanted to get from 30 to 10, I could divide by three. But because our missing ratio is on this right-hand side, we're gonna to have to times. Then step three says, whatever I do to one of the numbers, I must do to the other. So if we multiplied the second digit by three, therefore we have to multiply the first digit by three to get the equivalent ratio. So if I was to multiply my five times three, I would end up with 15. So therefore x equals 15. Let's quickly look at this in another way. And we know that ratios are very closely linked to fractions. So five to 10 is actually the same as saying five over 10 equals x over 30. And again, when finding equivalent fractions, we know that to get from 10 to 30, we'd need to times by three. So therefore I need to do the same to the numerator, times it by three, five times three is 15. Same answer. Okay, let's look at question two. And again, we're looking for that connection. So this time we've been given the value of the first number in, the, in each of the ratios. We have an eight and a four. So how do I get my eight to be a four? Well, I would have to divide by two. And if I divide our first number in our ratio by two, therefore I have to divide the second number two. So 12 divided by two is six, and therefore x equals six in this second example. Let's jump to number three. Number three says two to nine and eight to x. So again, I'm looking for that connection. We've been given the first number in each of the ratio. So I'm looking at how to get from this two to an eight. And we can see that to get from two to eight, I would need to times by four. So therefore, if we're timesing the first number in the ratios by four, we would also need to times the second number in the ratio by four. And nine times four is 36. So in this case, x equals 36. So two to nine is equivalent to eight to 36. Let's look at our last one. Five to 15 is equivalent to x to three. Now let's find the connection. Well, we've been given the second number in each ratio. I have a 15 and a three. How do I get from 15 to three? Well, I'll need to divide by five. If I'm dividing the second digit by five, I then need to divide the first one by five. So five divided by five equals one. So in this last case, x equals one. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's look at what to remember. Ratios are similar to fractions. First, find the connection between the numbers we know, whether it's the first or the second digit of the ratio. Then we're gonna use multiplication or division to establish how to get from one number to the other. And then we're gonna use this same operation to the unknown pairs of our ratios. Now it's your turn. Have a go at answering these four questions. Press pause on the video now, take your time and put your answers in the comment section. Good luck. And there you have it. That is finding the missing value in a pair of equivalent ratios. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching, but for now, peace out.